The uh, latest in Sierra Leone is a pretty aggressive new way of doing things here. The, the army is sending in soldiers house to house to find Ebola victims and suspects, as the president put it, and they're quarantining them. Uh, whole neighborhoods are likely to be roped off. Public meetings are banned. Uh, that would seem to include funerals, which is a major way that this disease is spread. Government officials aren't traveling except for essential travel. It's a pretty big hit for a, a small developing country like, like Sierra Leone, and this could go on for another uh, 60 to 90 days. What you have in these three countries is a virus among the world's deadliest, striking what is probably the worst healthcare system on Earth. Uh, in fact, a few years back, the, uh, the World Bank did a study of some 60 mostly developing nations' hospital systems, how many beds they had per citizen, that kind of thing. Uh, Guinea came in last. Sierra Leone, Liberia were not far behind. Um, uh, 672 people have died from this so far, and uh, they've largely died from just uh, poor public health knowledge and little, if any, contact with model, modern hospital care. What you're seeing is a probably belated recognition that this is a real firestorm that isn't going to dissipate without aggressive action. Uh, you're seeing some of that action now. Um, Sierra Leone is shutting off neighborhoods. Liberia may do that too soon, they say. Uh, the catch is that it's easier said than done. Neighborhoods in these nation cities are amorphous things that aren't easily disjointed from one another. In fact, they're connected by labyrinths of back alleys and such. And many soldiers themselves might not love the job of storming into hot zones, screaming at Ebola victims. Uh, it's going to be a real test of, of West Africa's governance.